today we're going to talk about these pretty dark plates. Hello beautiful dog people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephanie and it's all about enrichment toys for us today. So these ones are the Soda Pop Mandala plates and they come in different colors. They come in five different colors. There's another purple one and a khaki one. Hi Panda. We actually have all of them, however two of them are in the dishwasher right now. So yeah, I get only with like the three ones. Yeah, I know, it's your princess plate. This actually, I call it princess plate because I use them for Panda. By the way, Panda, it's her birthday today. So please do wish Panda a happy birthday. <laughs> it's actually also my birthday. So wish both of us please a happy birthday. <laughs> but yeah, so the um, princess plates or mandala plates as they are officially called are just really, really pretty plates. So they are not just pretty though, they are also slow feeder plates. So if you have a dog who eats quite fast, then this I highly recommend. You have different compartments, so you have the round one in the middle. So you have this one here in the middle where you can add something fun. And, and then you have basically the beautiful, it looks like a flower. So you have the bigger departments, you have the smaller ones. So if you're honest, like these, these ones here are quite difficult to for your dog to get the food out. But honestly, it makes just so much fun to fill them with beautiful things and create your own designs. And quite frankly, they are so cute that you basically cannot not make them pretty. Like no matter what you fill them with, even if you just scrap food on, like, you know, just like wet food and cover it with wet food, it will still kind of look pretty because it's just such a pretty plate. So I, I really do like them. Um, again, I call them princess plates because Panda loves them, so they are really great for, for dogs like her, who are very patient, who are very determined to get in there. And yeah, I really do like them. I think they are also just so pretty. Like, I mean, how pretty are they? How pretty are they? <laughs> so if you're like me, I'm like, yeah, it looks pretty. <laughs> I want it. Then this is for you. Um, but honestly, I also think they are really, really good. There's a lot of places for your dog to discover where the food is. And one thing I really like, um, but this is more like an aesthetic kind of thing, but yeah, I like it actually to be compartmentalized a bit. So to, you know, just not be a mess where everything is mixed together, but be really nice. Like, you know, one is maybe like one food and the other thing is the other food. I mean, there's like incredible, beautiful creations on Instagram. Yeah, they are not necessarily from me. Like while I try to make it pretty, I'm not doing it like pretty pretty or having like, you know, spending loads of time to to make a single play because four dogs. I'm basically also dog walking and training, so you know, I'm on the go quite a bit. So for me it has to go really fast and easy, but yeah, honestly, I really do like them and they are really cute. Um, I must say though, if you have a buddy breed and if you have a, like a really like a big dog, this might be a bit challenging. Also, it doesn't hold as much food. So for Panda, I could, well, more or less feed a meal for her out of this. Yeah, actually I can feed one meal because I spread the food and we ditch the bowl. So I also use food and training um, or for enrichment activities apart from, you know, bowls or slow feeders. So for Panda, this is enough. For my bully boys, this would be more a snack. For Rambo, this would be okay too, but for him, he's not patient enough necessarily. Um, although he's getting there, I must say, even like my oldie, my senior is getting there. But yeah, for a dog who is maybe also quite intense, they are not chew proof. So I once left them, Panda, and she chewed through one. So this is actually a replacement one we got. And Panda would never chew through Licky Mud or anything. But um, yeah, she chewed through this because she got quite frustrated with the tiny bits here where she couldn't access the food. So if you have a dog like this, um, you do want to supervise really closely because they will chew through this. Maybe just as a little word of warning, but you should generally supervise this anyways. So yeah, I really do like them. They get a double thumbs up from me. Next time we're actually going to talk about another soda pop toy and it's this one. The life savoring. So stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you very soon. Take care.